It's been 595 days since the election started, and it's been filled with utter chaos and madness, an emotional roller coaster that the U.S. people call the election that ends today with the American people going to the voting box. Now, in this video, since I'm a very happy, positive person, I wanted to make a video about the top five positive outcomes, the top five revelations that the American people have had through this insane clown circus that we all had to endure. And I think the number one revelation is that the mainstream media is filled with other rotting feces crap that manipulates you because instead of covering real issues, instead of covering policy, instead of covering documents and things that actually happened on WikiLeaks, they gave that very little coverage and talked about emotional issues like sex in order to trigger you into an emotional response instead of a logical one. As we have seen, the mainstream media has bent over and spread their cheeks for the current established power elite, and they have colluded together and worked together. As we have seen CNN get questions from the DNC to ask Donald Trump, as we have seen uh, Donna Brazil give questions to Hillary Clinton that were not supposed to be known to her during a presidential debate with Bernie Sanders, as we have seen just pure outright collusion and manipulation working together to keep each other in power. And if the mainstream media did their job and talked about the actual documents that actual things that happened with the Clinton Foundation, as a longtime Clinton aide said, the American people would not vote for her in all 49 states, but they have not. They have attacked WikiLeaks and organizations like Project Veritas, which are independently funded, which have actually done more work than the entire mainstream media, broke more stories, shared more documents, and told you more revelations instead of just reading PR talking points and regurgitating what the current establishment power, power status quo wants you to know. The mainstream media literally just read PR pieces and tried to trigger you emotionally this entire election. And that's why their trust in the media is at an all-time low. And this is why this is the number one revelation from this entire uh, election cycle. The second revelation that the American people found out was that taxes are for silly people or, well, for peasants who are not a part of the upper elitist class, as Hillary Clinton and both Donald Trump avoided paying taxes for the very government that they want to run that is financed by the taxes. Taxes and loopholes that were actually created by the Clintons that Trump used himself showing you how it's just silly to pay your tax. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. The third thing that people understood from this election is that if you have a foundation, if you have a charity, you could do what the hell you want. As WikiLeaks email showed that the Clinton Foundation actually paid for Hillary Clinton's wedding. Hillary Clinton Foundation that actually took in money for Hillary Cl for the Haiti earthquake disaster, but actually only gave 6% of that, showing you that if you have a foundation, you could use it as a money laundering operation and also take money from countries that finance ISIS like Saudi Arabia. Qatar know about that fact and then reward them after they donated millions of dollars to your campaign and your foundations. So the whole foundation scandal and swindle the American people learned about as well. The fourth thing that I think is very important is that the upper echelons of our government is actually connected to some real satanic occultist evil crap as spirit cooking took the headlines and dominated online talk. Of course, CNN never mentioned it. Revealing how they're doing, they're, how a lot of these politicians, they're not so-called religious Christians, they're not so-called religious people as they play off to be, but they're actually down to some really weird blood, sperm, breast milk drinking, satanic occult, weird freaking rituals that have just been exposed. Now the fifth thing that I think the American people will soon realize even to a bigger extent is that the whole election cycle is rigged. As we have seen with the DNC emails, it was rigged against Bernie Sanders and the game was utterly fixed from the very beginning with Hillary Clinton emails even revealing that she wanted Donald Trump to be the Pied Piper candidate that she runs against, along also with Ted Cruz to give you full disclosure and, 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 and truth here. But your popular vote does not matter. What matters is the Electoral College. And that's why I'm thinking my personal prediction from all my personal dealings, my personal feelings about what's going to happen today is that Hillary Clinton will win 
because she will utterly steal this election with outright fraud and theft. That is my prediction. I could be totally wrong, but who knows? These, to me, are the top five revelations. The American people are finally waking up to this outright fraud, to this outright hypocrisy, to the double standards that we're all facing. And we're doing that because of the power of the Internet, even though social media is skewed and they're taking away important information from your timeline. That's not to the status quo liking. We're still here and we're only here because of your donations, your support, being fully independent, being fully unbiased, being fully here for you because you support us. It is an organization supported for you by you. Patreon.com forward slash we are changed. One dollar, ten dollars a month means the world to us and keeps us up running, expanding our operations because ultimately we want to destroy these fox cards, these vi evil villains who will, no matter who is in office, bow down and do their bidding. Subscribe. We're going to have a lot more coming here your way on youtube.com forward slash we are changed. We have a live blog going right now with all the election coverage on we are changed.org. You need to check it out. Stay updated. Stay informed because knowledge is power.